Hey everyone, welcome to the Burnt Brass Homestead channel. This is somewhat of a continuation from our previous video which focused on cooking meals without depending on electricity, propane, or other fuels that cost money. So with the help of my husband we gathered stones to make a fire pit in our backyard. I actually got this stone from a co-worker who had a lot of stone on their property that they didn't want. I originally used it around a temporary chicken coop for young hens until they were old enough to go into the main coop. Here I am putting way too much thought into making the perfect ring. When building a fire pit, make sure it is away from anything flammable and do not use stone that retains water or they can explode if they get hot enough. I kid you not when I say I spent way too much time forming this ring. I must have redone it like three times, but I was also enjoying the outdoors. Once the fire pit was finally finished, my husband prepared, prepared some small pieces of wood to make a teepee fire. Now this fire was meant to be big enough just to cook the chicken vegetable skewers. Here is a quick look at the chicken vegetable skewer I prepared that will be cooked over the open fire in our newly built fire pit. This was a very simple recipe using vegetables from our garden and chicken breasts from our home raised meat birds. The chicken was marinated in lemon juice, olive oil, salt, pepper, and garlic powder while the vegetables were seasoned with salt, pepper, garlic powder and a very small amount of balsamic vinegar. Simple. I want to note that the bamboo skewers soaked in water for about 30 minutes before I loaded the vegetables and meat on them. The cast iron grate was from the old beat up grill featured in my previous video. So really the purpose of this video and that video was to find altern alternative ways of cooking food without spending any money on materials or resources or fuel to cook that food. Now, this is the first time I'm cooking food in this manner. In the past, I've cooked food in cast iron frying pans or pots over an open fire, but I never cooked food directly on an open fire. Another method my friends and I used in the past to warm up or cook food while on the camping trips was directly on the surface of a flat stone that was being heated by fire. A friend that was in the military had a specific name for this, but I don't remember what it was. It was something like satellite something. I don't remember. If anyone knows, please share it in the comment section. It took about an hour or so to cook the meat and vegetables. This was because the fire went out on us a couple times and needed to be fanned to get it going again. I don't think there was enough um, air going through because of the way I formed the rocks to allow the cast iron grate to fit snugly on top. Every so often I turned the skewer so that the food did not overcook on one side. I did this several times throughout the course of the hour it took for the, um, the skewers to cook. These were fun projects, cooking with wood on the old grill as well as making this fire pit and cooking on it. Between this video and my last two videos, we were able to demonstrate three ways to cook food without the need of electricity, gas, propane, butane, or any other fuels that cost money. The first being cooking on the wood stove, then cooking on this old beat up grill, and finally the fire pit. I plan on doing some more videos of me cooking using both the wood stove and the fire pit, so please subscribe to get notifications. So here's a final picture of how the skewers looked after being cooked on the open fire in the fire pit. and how they looked when they were plated. I hope that you have enjoyed this video and that it was encouraging for you guys to get out there and learn new skill sets. Thanks for watching.